Lost Rose Hill football team a success as well. They're going to be playing in the two-way state championship game Saturday in Raleigh. That will be a 3 o'clock kickoff against Shelby. But this Wallace Rose Hill football team has been through a lot these last three years. Kevin Motzinger, the Wallace Rose Hill football coach, joining me now. And look, we had the Florence flooding that happened three years ago. And this weight room behind you was a shelter at the time where you handed out donations. Yes, sir. Uh, it was full. We moved all the weight equipment. We had clothes, diapers, female products, shampoo, I mean, food, anything you could think of. And people would pull in and we, our kids would hand out food, do whatever they needed to do. It's part of the adversity that this football team has had to go through the last three years to get to this point where they've kind of bonded together a little bit to get to this ultimate championship game. Absolutely. I mean, our kids have gone through a lot. You know, you look at this senior class with Florence, then you look at COVID. I mean, they've, they haven't had a normal high school experience, and so the only normal is football. Our kids have bonded together, and they're just a close group, and they're, they're the only reason we're still playing. Yeah, and that's what sports have, had, have been able to me, that you had 11 kids still not in their homes even this spring. Last spring's team, I mean, there was 11 kids not home. And, you know, I think God gives you the strength. Um, I'm not smart enough to do anything by myself. I do what my wife tells me, and I try to do what God wants me to do, and I try not to screw it up. But, you know, our kids just, I mean, it comes down to love. I mean, to be honest with you, Brian, it's about relationships and love, and when you really care about somebody, you find a way. All right, you kept saying all year long you wanted one more week with this team. This is the last week regardless. This is championship week for you. How do you feel? How's practice been going? How is everything kind of shaping up for this week against Shelby? Well, being honest, we had a lot of kids banged up Friday night, um, so we're still right now not sure who can play, and the ones that came back from Wilmington yesterday that are cleared to play, I don't know what they're going to be able to contribute. Um, so we're still in the okay mode. We're trying to piece the team together and get other guys ready. And, you know, we're not supposed to win the last three weeks. And, you know, it comes down, we've been talking about fight 48 minutes for 48 more. Well, now this is the last 48. So let's get every drop out of every 48 minute and lay it on the field and have fun together one more time. The theme is they found a way for three years. They found a way with the flooding. They found a way through the playoffs this year. You'll find your way to Raleigh on Saturday, and you'll find a way to kick that thing off, and you'll go from there. Well, our kids are going to make our community proud because I mean, it, I don't care if we win or lose. You know, we talk about all, I, I really don't care. It's how you play the game. When you die, how you're going to be judged. How'd you play the game? When you live, how'd you play the game? And our kids are going to come to play, and they'll give it everything they got. All right, that's Wallace Rose Hill playing Shelby on Saturday. Our championship coverage starts Friday night when J.H. Rose takes on Dudley. Tarboro playing at noon at Keenan Stadium. That will be on bounce, as will Wallace Rose Hill. And Shelby on bounce as well at 3 o'clock, and we'll have it covered for you all weekend. In Wallace, I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.